Well, look at you, Torres. La celebrité on the tip of everyone's tongue. If I'd have known you were gonna cause this much trouble, I'd have kept my mouth shut about the reserve. Maybe all those lives would have been spared. One thing is certain, though. Misery spread like wildfire, and your name was taken to blame. But what's done, it cannot be undone, no matter how badly you wish it could. You feeling okay, Taurus? That thought, eating up your brain? Got you seeing flames? <laughs> What went down at the reserve? But that ain't nothing compared to the hell unleashed upon Old Town. Wonder if we'll ever know who kept them bells ringing for three days straight. Riling up the horde into a frenzy so savage, the living didn't stand a chance. But despite it all, Reserve being a bust, a madman laying waste the whole town, the tower folks don't seem frazzled. Business as usual. The building even seems a few stories taller now that Mama finally slaughtered the reclaimed. And no one's heard boo from JB in a long while. Some say he's dead, and I'm more fond of the taller tales that the devil slithered back to his warm and cozy domain. Of course, someone will always step out of the shadows and make themselves known when there are big shoes to fill, right? At or what? None of the legends were true. Wonder how Mama's feeling about this empty. noise our coming out of the French court. It's only got to be a matter of time before the tower comes knocking on that preacher's door, right? Are you sure you want to get caught in the middle of that mess, tourists? Maybe you'd be better off paddling back to the bayou, leave Nola behind. Supplies are getting scarcer by the second. The living getting more desperate. And the dead, well, they just keep multiplying. Gonna take nothing short of a miracle to survive what's coming. Of course, you had some people talking like you were a miracle worker. But that's not how it's going down, has it? I'd say, wherever the tourist goes, death ain't far behind. Got one or two of them miracles up your sleeve? Been saving them for the right occasion, maybe? She wants you to know something, tourist. That a darkness has swallowed you. There ain't no use in fighting it, she says. Just surrender. Let it devour you. You best be on your way home now, tourist. Let a dead man rest in peace. One last thing before you go. A bit of advice from beyond the grave. In a time like this, 
Well, it seems like the only decisions worth a damn are the ones that save your own ass. Well, you best give that a second thought. Payback still exists, my friend. And payback is a whole lot more ornery than a rib thin rabbit dog. Payback is an honest to God force of nature. Forest! You alive! Up here! Tourist! You need to stand up! Shit! That's a lot of blood! We gotta move! Grab your flashlight! On your chest! Let's go! Left hand! Floor collapsed and swallowed you up! Dropped you like a fucking rock! Thought you were toast! Get your head clear. We gotta escape this hellhole. Place is swarming. Yo, pick up those blueprints! Can't believe what we went through to get those fucking things. Father Carter better be Hail marrying his ass off when we get back. Fuck! You got company! Take this! Get you up here. Wait. What the fuck is that? I hear something. Shit! They're flooding in! Behind you!
Glad to see you upright, tourist. No broken bones, not even a limp. Thank the Lord. Holland found you in the bushes unconscious and dragged you here. Looks like you had quite an exit from the hotel. You have good news to share, I hope? The good news is that I managed to make it out alive. The bad news... My friends are dead. Bingo. Your compassion is boundless. What happened? Ty got spooked and took off running. Someone had set a trap. She tripped it and boom. Blew it to bits and collapsed the floor on us. Ty was a God-fearing warrior. Bless her soul. But they all knew the risk. And yet, they forged ahead. Brave souls, all of them. Not sure brave fits the bill. Morons would be more accurate. But what do I know? About them? Nothing. You underestimated the threat. That place is a death trap. And the blueprints you sent us in there to find? Your holy fucking grail? They're worthless when a place is that infested. But hey, on the bright side, maybe you can use them for kindling next time you perform one of your fire barrel sermons. May I have the blueprints, please? That hotel will be our home. We've had a setback, yes, but the blueprints are valuable. It will help us plan our next effort. When the time is right, we will try again. Our faith will deliver us. From what I saw in there, it's gonna be a long wait. Patience is a virtue. True, but I ain't got any. We want what everyone wants. Belonging, community, peace of mind. After the disaster in Old Town, many of my people are living in constant fear. The rumors of a psychopath behind it all have them rattled, thinking everyone outside of my flock could be the perpetrator. An envoy of Satan himself. But the living must band together, not remain divided. And the hotel is our answer. You're persistent, I'll give you that. But I'm done arguing about the hotel. We have business to discuss. Indeed we do. I read the Pawn King's proposal. It's ambitious, but sound. You could tell Sonny I accept, but with certain stipulations. Here, I've outlined them in this letter. Minor tweaks to the agreement that I think he'll find amenable. A trade network for those of us outside the tower walls could ease a lot of suffering. Pawn King is a real saint. I'll give him your letter. Unusual circumstances call for unusual alliances. Knowing Sonny, he's pacing behind that glass of his, wearing a groove into the floor waiting for my response. Let him sweat it out for a bit. You clearly need to get some rest. Your weapons and gear are just outside the door. No offense, of course, just a precaution. God bless. Godspeed, tourist.
12. Garrick. Was there time before we met? I don't know anymore. Sure, there was growing up and taking our bumps and bruises, falling down, clawing our way back up. There was stumbling toward each other without knowing it, bathed in the darkness of innocence. Is there anything darker? But the dawn of everything was that moment, here. Right on this patch of earth where we met. You remember everything. That Tuesday afternoon was the beginning of time. The time is running out. Walls are closing in. Look around. Even this sacred place has been corrupted. I can still feel you out there. Alive, cutting through everything to reach us. Do not despair. And do not stop. You will find us. Time is definitely not on our side, so fuck time. Let's transcend it. May.
Or 17. Gary, if you're reading this, then the time has come. Things have fallen apart. Ambra and I are on the run. But you missed us, or we missed you, or maybe you were never here and will never read this. Maybe Carmen was right. Maybe you took the walk. Maybe I am writing this to a ghost. Something inside me holds on to a vision of you, knee-deep in the swamp, stubbornly trudging back to me and Ambra. There is no home anymore. There is only us. The three of us against this fucked-up world. We cannot wait here for long. We are being hunted. We must move to survive. We will leave traces. You know where. Be relentless, my love. May.
Welcome to the Revolution, tourist. I'm Sable. This is Echo. Barnes is there in the back. Wasn't expecting a crowd. I couldn't go into details in the note I left. It's all about security. Just meeting with you here is a huge risk for us. Let me explain. We represent a growing faction inside the tower. People fed up with the current leadership. If Nola's gonna remain habitable, the time's come for a change at the top. So this is a coup you have brewing? Mama's made a lot of enemies, even on the inside. Echo's right. All the stories Mama used to tell just never added up. People are starting to wake up, see the light. How did you find me? Everyone knows about the tourist. And we are always looking for allies. Barnes and I are tower. Echo is former reclaimed. There are more of us, about three dozen on the inside. And we've got sympathizers among the exiles. But I guess you'd call us the ringleaders. What's your plan? A tactical assault on the tower. Coordinated from within, one shot to chop off the head of the snake. Bold plan. But why? Still haven't heard a good reason. We have our reasons. Mama's got every one of us in her sights. No one's safe. Ever since the reserve was a bust, she's been consolidating power. Building up units of heavily armed elite fighters, all loyal to her. Call themselves Eradicators. The way we see it, the only chance to get to Mama is from within. And soon. We eliminate her, the tower can be returned to the people. And Nola survives. All right, you've convinced me. How can I help? The tower has their sights set on the radio station in the French Quarter, where JB used to broadcast. We think Mom is planning to use the station to flood the airwaves with propaganda. She's already papering the whole city with her old town conspiracies. They're gonna make their move on the radio station. Soon. Real soon. A daytime operation. We stop Mama from taking the radio station, we slow down the spread of her lies. And instead, we give the people what they really want to hear. A new take on an old classic. Here. It's JB's last sermon. Hasn't been broadcast yet. Echo found it in an abandoned, reclaimed base. It's a real firestorm, too. You've never heard JB like this. Now for blood. We need you to stop the tower from taking over the station and get JB's last hurrah on the air. Fighting propaganda with propaganda? If the tower controls all the information out there, we don't have a chance. If we want to inspire an uprising, we can't have Mama polluting the airwaves with bullshit. We get the exiles behind us, then we strike. Barnes is going to go ahead of you. See what intel she can gather about access to the station. But she can't be seen. I'll leave you a present in Bird Lounge, down the street from the station. Before you go, we need a reliable way to communicate. Timing's key, so passing notes ain't gonna cut it. Echo? These walkies are older than dirt. Broken, pretty much. No voice capabilities. But... I figured out how to get the alert signal to work. I'll reach out to you on the walkie when we need to meet. But you have to beep us back to let us know you're coming. Otherwise, we won't be around. You better get going. We need to roll out soon. Don't forget to grab that beta from Barnes at Bird Lounge. She knows how to exploit the enemy's weakness.
is up. Do you think it's wise to be wandering around? Tourist, do some recon on the best route to the station. Bourbon Street is blocked, no go. Two ways around it. Head north on St. Peter, then slip through the back patio of the Maison, or south on St. Peter. Cut through Preservation Hall. Bingo, blockade circumvented. Broadcast booth is up on the third floor. As far as I could tell, tower isn't heading up there. Sticking to the ground floor. Weird. No clue what that's all about. Before you roll out, make sure you snag a few goodies I left behind the bar downstairs. Keep it sneaky, Barnes.
We took the tower together. You faced the rotten teeth of death alone. From this burden, we are freed. Never forget Old Town. For three days, the bells rang. The key to our security turned into a weapon of mass slaughter. Without the bells, the dead rule the streets. To turn this blessing into a curse is the most heinous of crimes. Who would inflict such a senseless wound on our city? Who would try to frighten us into submission? We will find the perpetrator, and they will pay dearly. Any information about the incident will be met with gratitude. You have my word. As for the coward responsible for this offense, you are now the hunted. You will not forget Old Town. In the end, justice will be ours. The tower will always stand. Mama.
something moving. of New Orleans. I come to you tonight with a tale of woe, a premonition. I have not had the fortitude. Who's sneaking around? We got an issue upstairs. Gonna need back.
We need to see you, tourist. Quick. Hit us back with a beep.
You're back. We've been listening on the radio. Nothing but a bunch of dead air. What happened? Sorry about that. I don't have any formal training as a DJ. Turns out the tower doesn't give a shit about commanding the airwaves. They were there for a generator. Loaded it up and got away before I could stop them. A generator? Why would they want that? We, we got all the power we need at the compound. It's true. The tower doesn't use a ton of electricity. What they need, they get from solar. Generators eat up fuel, which is, like, very limited. So, what the hell's going on here? Looks like some plotting and scheming to me. Fucking mama. Always one step ahead. Damn. I was really looking forward to people hearing JB raging again. We gotta find a way to get it on air. Don't worry, it'll get out there. We can't let this derail our plan. So, you got anything else to report, tourist? Found a cool map. It's got some scribbles on it. Hmm, can't be that cool. Let me see it. It's a tower map. I recognize the patrol routes. Looks like it lays out some exile locations in different parts of the city. Maybe they're encampments, fortifications. Mama's not gonna tolerate a priest organizing a bunch of exiles. She's coming for them, and they gotta get ready. Thank you, tourist. This is useful. We'll be in touch again when we figure out our next move. In the meantime, keep yourself safe. Safe? Every day is a hell ride. But I like it that way.
you on all channels people the pond king is open and the dealing can commence staring at that door for hours hoping you'd come through it. Damn good to see you. Hey. What's the matter? The priest put you in a bad mood? He can be a pushy son of a bitch. Sounds familiar. Can it, Dez? What did Father Carter have to say? Too much? That dude likes flapping his gums. Bottom line, he's down with the concept. He did have a few stipulations. He gave me a letter to give to you. That son of a bitch. All right, put it in the drawer. Man of God, my ass. He's a wolf, this guy. Shifty, but fuck it. He can have it his way. With the preacher bringing his exiles to the table, we will have people in every corner of this city. There's a whole lot of demand out there, tourists, and everybody in Nola's gonna know that the Pond King always delivers. It doesn't sound as cool as you think. Keep quiet, Dez. I'm doing business with the tourists. You'll get your cut once the goods start flowing through here from our exile friends. With everybody still dazed from the shitstorm in Old Town and the reserve fiasco, this trade network is the perfect plan at the perfect time. Supplies have never been harder to come by. Just make sure my cut is substantial, Sonny. Then we won't have a problem. I'll tell you what I tell all my associates. I haven't operated this fine establishment for 28 years. 
through a fucking apocalypse even by breaking my promises. You've got my word, and my word is good as solid gold. It's true. He does say that to everybody. That's enough, Dez. One thing you gotta know about the Exiles, they're like catfish, night feeders. So you'll need to venture out after dark to do business with them. Work that UV flashlight to find where they've set up shop. It's a whole different ballgame at night. But the Exiles say it's the best time to scavenge. Less competition, lots more loot. Thanks for the tip, Pawn King. You know I got your back, tourist. Listen, while you're here, I got a favor to ask you. It would help the trade network out a whole lot. Our old friend Henri, he had stuff hidden all over this town. He was like a fucking squirrel. Couple of nuts here, couple of nuts there. Most of it, I could care less. But he and I were in the middle of a deal for one of those stashes, and then he got himself dead. I happen to know where he hid it. You can keep whatever else you find, but the batteries, those belong to me. Sounds simple enough. Where do I need to go? The spot ain't too far from here. An old recording studio in the French Quarter. Lots of fine memories. Henri and I used to do session gigs there. Him on slide, me on bass. We even played with Slim Dog Fortune once, if you can believe that. Recording studio, French Quarter. Anything else I need to know? Yeah, how to get into the place. The cat who owned the recording studio was a lunatic, Martinique the Martian Drisco. He was a bit on the paranoid side, thinking everyone was out to steal from him. Didn't trust us musician types as far as he could throw us out the front door. He was always switching the door code, sometimes every other day. Where do I find the code? The Martian was something of a ladies' man had a dalliance with a different lady every week. So he set himself up with a private suite at the Hotel Eclair. Every time he changed the door code to the studio, he'd leave it there for whoever he had coming around. You find room 212, you find the code. I was just at the Hotel Eclair. Place is infested. One last thing. We're not gonna be keeping regular business hours from here on out. Security reasons. I'm sure you get it. We'll shout out on the radio when the doors are open, so stay tuned in. Good luck to you, tourists.
That's the tourist? <sighs> Doesn't look so tough. We got some orders, tourist. Think you could help us out?
You're a sneaky fucker, huh? Not usually. But for you, I make an exception. I am Gerrick. Figured I'd run into you at some point. Yes. And here we are. You're not as I expected. Is that right? What did you expect? A human wrecking ball. Yeah, that sounds about right. I have been looking forward to this. We have much to discuss. No offense, but this feels a little bit like an ambush. I persuaded the Pawn King to set this up. I suspected you wouldn't meet with me otherwise. You knew my wife, May, and I need to speak with you about her. I knew May. I appreciate your honesty. Most people will lie when they find themselves cornered. Perhaps you have heard the tales about me, that I am mad, a cannibal. The tower convinced me I was executed for my supposed crimes. A burning pile of lies. The perpetrators, all of them, will pay. And their numbers are dwindling. Rapidly. You were the last to see me alive. You know her fate. Last I saw, she was alive. Alive? You expect me to believe that? Look, if she's dead, I'm sorry. I had nothing to do with it. Lies exactly as I suspected. But the truth no longer matters. My decision has been made. You will face retribution. I told you it wasn't me. But if you're looking for a fight, then let's cut to the chase. I'm grateful we had the chance to speak, tourist. To put a face to a name. Our paths will cross again. That shiver you feel will be my breath on your neck. That knot in your stomach, my footsteps drawing near. That screaming nightmare, the sound of my voice. You will know the dread you have wrought upon my family. And then, when I have seen enough of your suffering, you will face the truth of your depravity. For now, I will
will let you live. But only for as long as it amuses me.
King is open. A uh, tourist. I need to talk with you about something. Please. If you can hear this. Seriously, my dad's in the back. He's fucked up. Get his ass up. He has some explaining to do. He can't get up right now. He's <laughs> disgusting. Who the fuck's here? The tourist person! Uh, Jesus. I can't talk. My fucking guts. He set you up. Obviously. Which is totally not okay. But he's sick. Because of me. <laughs> I dosed his beans with some potent stuff I found. I needed to talk to you. He... He... Oh, I'm sorry. I, I'm nervous. When he finds out I told you to come here, I don't know what he's gonna do to me. You should be fucking nervous. I'm not someone you want to cross. I know! It wasn't me, I swear! I had nothing to do with it. Please, let me, just, g let me explain. Garrick threatened my dad. Told him that if he didn't set up a meeting with you, there'd be consequences. So, my dad did what he was told. That's the truth. Whatever. Just tell me what you need. What a Des? Hurry! I'm coming! Garrick's a psycho. He needs to die. But he's like a beast, too. That bomb suit he wears, I've seen bullets just bounce right off him. You're gonna need more firepower, and I can connect you with a friend of mine who has access to it. But first, I need you to get a message to someone from me. Who is it? And the bucket! Come and empty this fucking thing! The stench! Ooh. Christ! Making me sicker! I need you to find my mom. Her name is Lola. Last I heard, she was in Via Corolla, the exile camp, so, so go at night. She said to use a UV flashlight to follow the fiddleback symbols, some sort of spider-looking thing, I guess. 
Anyway, tell her that she can't leave. Not yet. Tell her she has to wait for me. Who are the Fiddlebacks? Not really sure. It's some Bayou people she's been rolling with. Creeps me out, though. Desiree! Now! Jesus! Sorry. I gotta go. Take point. Cover me.
D. I'm sorry. Couldn't wait any longer. Somebody ran hell on Via Corolla. Another old town all over again. City's gonna burn down before they're through. Talbot's got us on the move, though. Out to the bayou to start fresh. There's a whole world out there on this cesspit. Maybe I'll see you there one day. God willing. Much love, baby girl. Lola.
Time King is open for orders and stuff. deal with yours truly. The asshole's still asleep. Did you get my message to Lola? I was too late. By the time I got there, she was gone. The bells were ringing non-stop. She had to get the hell out of there in a hurry. She left a note for you, though. Let me see it. Put it in the drawer. Jesus. 
Do you think she made it out? I doubt it. It was a total shitstorm. I can't believe it. Now it's time for you to deliver. Right. I'm just kind of processing this right now. Sorry for troubling you with all this. Out with it. Who's this connection that's gonna help me with some firepower? I have a friend named Whistles. She was a fireworks technician back in the day. Try the gym office in the high school in Rampart. But she only does business at night. She's the solution to your firepower problem. She's like a Da Vinci with explosives. At least that's what my dad says. Anyway, good luck. You're gonna need it to kill that Garrick dude. Hey, you on the prowl? I see you looking with them rabid dog eyes. Well, I ain't gonna bite. Not in my nature. The deal. That's where it's at. You looking the deal? You whistles? That put your mind at ease? Not really. Answer the question. Yeah, I'm whistles. The one, the only. What do you need? Desiree from the Pawn King sent me. She said you know where to score some serious firepower. Ah, Desiree. I haven't seen her in some time. Her daddy cut me off, but his girl and me, we've always been good. So what do you need some serious firepower for? Are we talking people, building, pack of corpses? What you looking to obliterate? Anything that will obliterate armor. Ah, yes, I feel you. Not my specialty, but I got the hookup. Problem is, I can't get to him right now. There's some interference. These trigger-happy reclaimed types got me cut off from my boy Maxwell. My go-to for the heavy ordnance. Supposed to meet up tonight, in fact. Library in Hardeman Hall. But Reclaim got the whole area on lockdown. Hey, tourist. Anyway, Time to meet. you gotta find Maxwell. Beep and let us know. Once he hears my name, the explosion store is open for business. 
do me a favor and remind him that he owes me that Forgath book. He'll know the deal. Cut through the reclaimed, find Maxwell. Can I get on with it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Consider the deal done. Don't let me keep you, killer.
Time. I got some stuff I need you to track down.
you shatter. About that? Looks like you got yourself in a tough situation, buddy. Maybe I'll cut some wires. What's the worst that could happen?
Max, get what you need? Not exactly. Wouldn't have anything to do with that blast I heard a few minutes ago. Maxwell went boom. That breaks my heart. He was a bud. Someone I could talk to. What happened? I think it was Garrick. Left behind a revenge note. I guess that's his thing. Man, that dude is a menace. And he had it out for Max, huh? I can't believe he's dead. That's so fucked up. Look, I'm sorry you didn't get what you needed. Check this out, though. I've been working on something for my own self-protection. A DIY grenade launcher type thing. I can't guarantee it's gonna tear through heavy armor, but it's the most lethal thing I've got. Here. You're gonna need some ammo for that. Check with your train network buds out near Memorial Lane. I heard they scored a couple crates of grenades on a scavenge run. That's some leprechaun shit right there. Thanks for your help. Sure thing. Wish I could have helped you more. I found Zerker Lord. First edition. First edition, poor Gath? Holy shit! Which one? Can I see it? Yup, this is it. Forgath, Zerker Lord. Max got me hooked on this series back when we first met. This was his favorite volume, which is why he held out on me for so long. You won't believe the dreams I've had being this dude, Forgath. Except I'm rocking this massive pair of shit kicking boots, and that's all I do. I go around stomping the shit out of anything that gets in my way. You ever get into the series? Yeah, I'm a huge fan. I've read all of them. I, I saw the way your eyes lit up when I said the name. Forgath is a fucking beast. I'll let you borrow it when I'm done. Probably be a few weeks, mm, maybe a month. Just warning you. But for now, take this. Volume 1, Feast of Beasts, first edition. Fucking classic. I know you probably read it like a hundred times already, but consider it a gift. From one Forgatha fan to another. chatting. I've got other shit to do. For sure. Send my best to Desiree if you see her.
Tourist, welcome back. Thanks for responding to our call. Tell me what you need. Enough supplies to arm a revolution. Did you by chance bring that with you? We need weapons, comms equipment, tactical gear. There's only so much we can skim from tower supply. But we heard that some exiles were making shit happen. Moving stuff through some kind of trade network. And the mastermind behind it all is supposedly our buddy, the tourist. Me? A mastermind? I don't know anything about anything. <laughs> Very funny. Right now, we need folk cutters, like the heavy-duty chomper ones. I know, it might sound crazy, but everything in the tower is under lock and key. Entrance gates, storage areas, shit, they even lock up the refrigerators. We get bolt cutters, we can hack off the locks quietly and swipe what we need. Echo's got a lead on where you can find him. There's an exile in the French Quarter, Patricia. She's got access to some pretty rare stuff, but she won't deal with me because I was reclaimed. She says JB was a charlatan. Bolt cutters, got it. Anything else? We need to get a critical message out to the Exiles. Mama's coming for them. We still don't know her plan, but every single Exile has a target on their back. The map you found proves it. So, we need to put out some propaganda of our own. Here, give these to Patricia. Ask her to pass them out to any Exile she sees. Mama is the enemy, and needs to be eliminated. We're gonna be laying low, so you might not hear from us for a little while. When the time is right, we'll let you know. Thanks, Trust.
Tourist, I didn't expect to see you walk through the door. To what do I owe the pleasure? I'm looking for some bolt cutters. I might have a pair around here somewhere, but no freebies, not even for you. I figured that would be the case. What's it gonna cost me? Don't worry, it'll be painless. I've got some doctor types clamoring for surgical scissors. There's a clinic near the tower where you might be able to find them. Egg timers are in demand. Rats, too. But you have to figure out where to get those on your own. Deal? Sounds like a deal. Anything else? A favor. I have some friends who've had it with Mama's ring. They're working on a plan to take her out. But they're gonna need some exile help. Another plan to bring down the tower, huh? Does this one involve a catapult large enough to launch a dozen walkers at once? Very funny. Mama's coming for the exiles. Every last one of you. No more hiding in the shadows. It's either kill her or be killed. We need you to spread the word. A counterpunch to the tower propaganda that litters the streets. Holy shit, is this for real? Be honest with me. Who the fuck are these people? If I'm telling you it's legit, then you know it's legit. The tourist stamp of approval. I'll post a few up around here and hand off some stacks as people come through. In the meantime, I'll hold on to Billy Bolt Cutters until you can find what I need.
Stupid showing your face around here. Let's do this.
Let's drop it.
Killing you was like cutting off my right hand. Executed with one fell swoop. From this burden, we are free.
fire.
just won the scavenger hunt. Congratulations, tourist. Thanks. Did you put out the flyers? I did. They've been getting people pretty fired up. If your friends make this happen, if they strike the tower, we'll have their back. Thanks. I'll let them know. We got people, we got weapons, but if we're gonna fight the tower, we need more ammo. A lot more. Understood. I'll tell my friends what you need. There's a kid, goes by Echo. Former reclaimed. You can trust them. If they come through here looking to trade, you get them what they need. Cool? Sure. No problem. Viva la revolution! those bolt cutters gift wrap for you over here on my right
All exiles. Mama is plotting to eradicate you. Act now. Do not delay. Arm yourselves. Band together. Prepare for battle. The tower must fall. United, we will prevail. Divided, we die. When the time for revolution arrives, you will know. You blinded the eyes of the brave. My treacherous lieutenant, now pounded to pulp. From this burden, we are freed. Tourist, if you can hear this, we need to talk. Beep us back. Six four. G. Carmen is dead, thrown to the wolves just like Ambra and I. I found her skin and bone, bullet through the brain in a muddy hole with many others we once knew, who we once called friends. Did she lie to me before about your execution? If she did, I cannot say I blame her. The weight of the tower does something to people. Even good people turns them against themselves. It may sound morbid, but seeing calm and dead gave me a renewed hope that everything she told me was bullshit and that you are out there. On the rare occasions that I sleep, I dream of you. I'm not gonna lie, the dreams are fucked up. Nightmares, really. 
but it's like I am wheeling you through hell, always on the verge of death, but then my mind finds a miracle to pull you through. Why did you agree to go out there, Garrick? Why? We're so fucking stubborn and stupid sometimes. When I see you again, I'm not sure if I'm going to slap you or kiss you first. Guess you're going to have to wheel your way to one of our spots to find out. You know how much I love to keep you on your toes. May. Tourist. Damn, it's good to see you. Got your bolt cutters. What about the flyers? What did, what did the exiles say? Good news. I talked to Patricia. She was doubtful at first. But she started putting the flyers out and it got people talking. She says they're ready to take the fight to the tower. This is great news. Sounds like we got our army. Time to unleash it on Mama. The exiles have a request. Ammo's in short supply. 
They got weapons, I guess, and people who know how to use them. But if you want them to fight with you, they're gonna need bullets. Serendipity tourist. Enter the star of our show, Billy Bolt Cutters. We can start stealing what we need from the tower. Sneak it out to the Exiles. Echo, you can help us with that. For sure. As long as they'll actually talk to me. They will. I told Patricia you were with us. That won't be a problem anymore. Thanks, tourist. We'll contact you when the time is right. Won't be long now. Mama's end is near. In case you forgot, here's a reminder. The Pawn King always delivers. Our doors are open.
I'm going to be up front with you. Right out the gate, I backed the wrong horse. I admit it. And I'm hoping we can put my fuck up in the past and work on setting things right for the future. You're a coward. Garrick threatened you, and you served me up on a silver platter. You have every right to be angry with me, but put yourself in my shoes. Garrick said he just wanted to talk to you, okay? So, I had to make a choice. I got my daughter to think about. Now, I don't like being on anyone's bad side, but I figured I'd avoid the bad side right there in front of me. At the time, it was the correct deal. Why should I let you live? Self-interest. We got this trade network, a mutually beneficial partnership. Now you can take me out, but my dead body is worth nothing to you. Alive, I could be the difference between you scrounging for crumbs and being the first one to eat. Your dead body is a guarantee if you lie to me again. Point taken. I know this probably doesn't mean much, but you have my word. I found a photo of you. Figured you might want it. A photo? What are you talking about? Put it in the drawer. Damn! Been a long time since I've seen this. Look at me. I'm a baby. You look stoned. <laughs> You're damn right. <laughs> Never a sober moment back then. Thanks for this, tourist. I don't get too many trips down memory lane these days. I always ask myself, did it ever even happen? But stuff like this reminds me that there was a life before hell opened the floodgate. Hold on. I got something for you. It's an old guitar signed by Slim Dog himself. Just gathering dust around here. But I figured you can give it a proper home. Will the two of you shut up, please? I'm trying to sleep. Stuff something in your ears then. All right, let's get back on track here. I got some bad news. Father Carter's gone silent. Haven't heard from him in over a week. This could be catastrophic. I'm sure he's fine. The preacher is surrounded by zealots with guns all day, every day. I hope you're right. We lose the Padre, everything we busted our ass to build is gonna crumple. The exiles really trust the guy. Get over to the French Quarter and see what the hell is going on with him. Stick to the daylight when you go looking, will you? For safety's sake. And when you find him, if he's still breathing, set him straight. Lay some of that tourist charm on him, whatever works, but we need to keep him in the fold. I'll set him straight. I'm not above roughing up a holy man. Just be persuasive. I don't think you need to break any bones or cut off any thumbs, okay? Make sure he understands his role in all this. That is not just about our takes, but helping the downtrodden. Blah, blah, blah. Stuff he likes to hear. I'll see you when you get back with some good news.
came to me with the proposition. If I turned my back on my people, she would welcome me into her inner circle. The Chosen, she called it. Some nonsense like that. The fortunate few who would ride out the coming storm behind the safety of the tower walls. She said that my talents would be useful in the dark times ahead. Dark times? What's that about? She didn't elaborate. I railed at her with a rage I never knew was in me, spitting threats like a foul-mouthed brute. How dare she? I told her she would burn for her sins. How did she react? Mama said nothing. She just walked away. Two hours later, she returned in full force, slaughtered everyone. I ran and hid in a hole, like a filthy, despicable rat. Get it together, Padre. We need to talk. This is together. Good Lord, my head swirling. I need more drink. I need to end this pain. Wait, you, you can help. No more booze. You're drunk as hell already. You need to listen to me. Wait, wait. No, 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 mother. I, I dropped her. Uh, speakeasy. But where? Where? God, God, my brain is useless. I'm finished. She's gone. Leave me. Let me rot. Not gonna happen. Sober your sorry ass up and put your business pants on. You made a deal, and you need to hold up your end. You are unrelenting, but so am I. You have my word, I will entertain your chat. But my mother, she must be with me. Take this. That gets you in. The soda machine in the alley. Clever. The speakeasy lies beyond it. She'll be in there. Somewhere. God, my... Infernal head won't stop spinning. My crucifix, her ashes in there. So let me get this straight. All you need me to do is fetch a dinky fucking trinket for you and you'll get your head on straight? It's not just a trinket, tourist. To me, right now, it is everything. But yes, that is all I ask. Speak easy as hell, tourist. Incarnate. Infested would not take it lightly.
You're back. Unexpected. Though I saw you. Uh, thought I saw you down the street among the dead. A mouthful of flesh. Sorry to disappoint. Guess I can't haunt your nightmares. Did you find her? Yep. Let me see. Hello, mother. I can do this. 
With your help, I can do this. Creepy. Ah, booze. Did you happen to find any? Forget about it. Booze is the last thing you need right now. No booze? Fine. I have one last favor to ask of you. Sure. What is it? My whole life was spent considering the needs of others. But now I must relieve my own burdens and... And you... You were the person best suited to help me do so. Put me out of my misery. One bullet through the brain. Are you serious? You want me to kill you? You're a killer. What's one more death on your conscience? Fine. If that's what you want, I'll do it. Any last words? Just fucking shoot me! And the Lord protect me and deliver me unto eternal life. About time you got your ass here. Listen, we got ourselves another situation. Serious as a heart attack. Surprise, surprise. There ain't no time for clowning. It's Garrick. Dude's been crossing names off his shit list. And we're next. Calm down. Garrick's a problem. That's established. It'll work itself out. Trust me. No, it won't. Garrick is the lunatic who cranked the bells for three days in Old Town. And according to my sources, he's coming for Bywater next. What's your plan? I know where Garrick's hiding out. You'd be surprised what intel you can get for a can of cream corn these days. Anyways, one of my contacts saw him coming and going out of the hotel and found an underground passage in the wine cellar. That should lead you to him. Appreciate the info. I've had enough of this guy. Thanks, Tourist. You're the only one I know with the muscle to take him out. You get that firepower situation worked out yet? Don't worry about it. I always get what I require. All right, then. Warrior's cold. <laughs> I get it. Oh, shit. With all this Garrick chatter, I forgot to ask about the preacher. All this stress is killing my brain cells. I found him drunk, drowning his sorrows in the quarter. The tower had been there, slaughtered all of his followers. Damn, that's vicious. Well, he's a bullheaded son of a bitch. I'm sure he'll find his way back from the brink. And the trade network? It's gonna be okay. We're gonna be okay, with or without him.
You brought these Gatless Tower goons along with you? An ambush of a righteous man. <laughs> when I slay someone, I look them straight in the eye. But you and your Tower kin, you slit throats from the shadows. Suffocate honorable warriors while they sleep. The depth of your cowardice is astonishing. You can no longer hide the truth, tourist. Mama is clearly your master. The tower is your altar. This hole in the ground will be your grave.
are a fucking nuisance, tourist. Ugh! We put up with enough of your shit? Oh, it's so your time to die, asshole! Or 17. Gary, if you're reading this, then the time has come. Things have fallen apart. Ambra and I are on the run. But you missed us. Or oh, we missed you. 
Or maybe you were never here and will never read this. Maybe Carmen was right. Maybe you took the walk. Maybe I am writing this to a ghost. But something inside me holds on to a vision of you, knee deep in the swamp, stubbornly trudging back to me and Ambra. There is no home anymore. There is only us. The three of us against this fucked up world. We cannot wait here for long. We are being hunted. We must move to survive. We will leave traces. You know where. Be relentless, my love. Hey. It seems our moment has arrived, tourist. I must confess, I am disappointed in you. You struck me as a lone wolf. But you are nothing but a pawn. A tower lackey, if ever there was one. I know. Because I used to be like you. My wife, too. Servants to the Tower of Lies. You probably don't even realize it. But you are. I have good news, though. In moments, you will be free of the tyranny. I will sever you from the lies in death. <laughs> you will finally know the truth. And after I am through with you, the tower will face its own reckoning. <laughs> Picture it, tourist, eh? Mama's precious beacon of corruption reduced to a pile of smoldering rubble and burnt flesh. The curse of the tower finally lifted. But that is for another day. This moment is our... It seems you are prepared to fight! Enough talk! Pigeon!
There will be no forgiveness. I must not fail. Justice must be served. I didn't kill your family. No. It doesn't matter now. I have been beaten by a godless tower lackey. The tower is gonna pay too. They're next on my list. No. what you started for. Spare me more days in this wretched hell. Give me peace. Maybe I'll let you live. I think you've learned your lesson not to fuck with me. like you're gonna be stopping real soon. <laughs> be gone, demon.
Desi, 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 put, put it down. Put it down right now. <laughs> I will let all this slide. Forget it all happened. Trust me, okay? Trust you? Everyone who trusts you winds up dead. That's not gonna be me. I'm not letting you drag me down anymore. You kidding me? You'd be dead in a matter of weeks without me. Look, we make this move, we survive. You understand? It's the only reason we're doing it. It's the only way. And trade one master for another? No. All I do is answer to the Pawn King for every damn thing. And I'm sick and tired of it. I'm done answering to anyone. Tourists, fuck. Thank God you're here. A sane person. Talk some sense into her. She's gone nuts. She looks sane to me. Wait, Tourist, listen. I got an explanation for everything. This isn't about him. This is about me getting rid of you, once and for all. This is my decision. Decision? Yes, baby girl. Listen, there is no decision, okay? There's only one thing to do. You drop the gun, we talk this through. You're not right in the head. You're not right in the head. I'm just supposed to go with you to the fucking tower? I don't need you anymore. I haven't for a long time. But you've kept me here under your thumb. Now you're telling me that I have to go live in that prison because you made some deal with Mama? A deal that was in both of our best interests, baby. She promised to take care of us, Des. There's a lot you don't know, girl. Desiree, you don't have to do this. I'll do it for you. Just open the door. No, 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 Desiree, don't do it. This is between you and me. Leave him out of it. Don't worry, Dad. I realized a long time ago that I needed to do this on my own. Any last words? I fucked up, okay? But what choice did I have? Mama came here with a bunch of goons and threatened me. Said she'd burn the Pond King down to the ground with us inside. Unless we went along with her plan. The ambush, taking out both you and Garrett. But if I did it, if I helped her, then Dez and I would both survive what was coming. She's gonna wipe out the exiles, kill every last one of them. That's what she told me, word for word. Desiree, for the love of Christ, come on, put the gun down. Stop telling me what to do! I'm in control here, not you! Yes, 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 you're in control, that is established. But come on, Des. You're not gonna pull the trigger anyway. Holy fuck! I pulled the trigger. And now you are gonna listen to me for once in your life. I'm listening, I swear. Jesus Christ, my eardrum. I can't hear nothing but ringing. I have begged almost my entire life to know something, anything about my mother just so I could have some understanding of who I am. But you have never told me anything. Never even shown me a picture of her. And then the walkers came and we could have helped her. But we just left her out there day after day alone to die. How am I supposed to forgive me for that? He doesn't deserve forgiveness. He doesn't deserve anything. Yeah, you're right. Because he'd actually have to apologize and feel bad about what he's done. Yeah, yeah, la di da di da You kill me, Desiree, and you'll regret it for the rest of your life. Believe me, it'll hang over your head. If I kill you, I'll become a murderer. A monster. The kind of person I would hate. But then again, I'd also be free. I'd be free in a fucked up world, sure. But at least I'd be free from you. Free? I could never let you go, Desiree. You're my daughter. That's how it is. Someday you'll understand. 
But if I need to die today because of it, then I will. That's fine. Go, go on ahead. Go on and pull the trigger, babe. Because I ain't letting you go. You're making this harder than I thought it would be. It's up to you, Desiree. You know what's right. Leave. Please. Wow. I didn't think you'd actually do it. Yeah. Yeah. If you see me out there someday, please. Pretend like you don't know me. Take care of yourself. Thanks for coming. Where's Sable? Oh, she's fine. At least I hope she is, without her. I don't know. She found out about a convoy leaving the tower. 
Shitload of supplies on trucks, huge operation. It's our chance to swap ammo for the exiles. I've been talking to a bunch of them ever since you hooked us up. They are aggro as a pack of Rougarous. We get this ammo to them, it's all gonna go down. Fuck yeah! I knew she could do it. I hope you're right. I know I am. Sable is special, and the exiles are pissed off. When you got someone to lead the people like her, and the people are out for blood, it's unstoppable. Inevitable. Meet Sable and Barnes on tower grounds. Parking garage, second floor. That's the staging area for the convoy. Stealth is key, so go at night. Sable's gonna snap a lock to an unguarded entrance that will get you past the perimeter and onto tower grounds. Billy Bolt Cutters to the rescue once again. Hooray for Billy. Not sure what we do without him. People said you had a sense of humor. Kinda have to when everything's this fucked up. JB was a jokester too. Not sure if you're aware of that. Oh yeah, hilarious. That dude was a laugh a minute. Right? And goddamn could he paint a picture. That Charlie Boy story of his? I can still hear him spinning it. So, out of chicken wire, Charlie Boy molded a huge head, and he put an old Puccinelli mask on it, the nose stretching down to the chin. He painted the whole thing as black as night. With the head on his shoulders, Charlie Boy stood a gangly seven feet tall, a messenger from the underworld. <laughs> I miss him. Still don't understand why he disappeared. Enough about the past, though. This here is the future, and you gotta get to making it. Phone chance, tourist.
chasing me through the streets. God, dreams are fucked up, man.
same so Tourist, over here. Think so. Let's hope not. Our cover's blown. We never should have believed that son of a bitch. One of our friends on the inside told us there'd be ammo in these crates. Turns out it was bad intel. Every damn one of them has a generator in it. I'm telling you, we were lied to. This is a setup. Generators again? What are they planning to do with them? Don't know, but our time's running out. Where can we find the ammo? There's a warehouse just north of here. It's been heavily guarded by an eradicator unit for the past few days. Around the clock, trucks have been coming and going. The ammo could be in there. We need to know what Mama's up to. That warehouse will tell us. We need you to check it out, tourist. We're already taking a huge risk by breaking curfew. Look for the old fishery sign. June cord. Best way in is through the loading dock. We're gonna be Echo in front of the clinic. See what you can find and meet us there. And please,
Keep quiet. Listen.
It's so your time to die, asshole! Pay that time, you piece of shit!
What did you find? Keep quiet. Listen. The key to Mama's plan. Look at this. Plans for mechanized powered by all those goddamn generators. Mama took down Old Town via Corolla, too. Jesus Christ. The coup is fucked. Mama's gonna use dozens of these bell rigs to take out every exile in the city. The revolt is gonna get crushed before a single bullet is fired. We should have moved faster. Mama should be dead by now. It's not over. We can stop her, with or without the Exiles. We have to. We need to fight, now.
crush these demons beneath our heels and liberate <laughs>
Shit, someone's close.
school wants to be dirt. Oh yes, this oh. should be
Finally. I always pictured you taller. Better looking. You greet all your guests with such terrible manners? Only honored guests. Sunrise is beautiful from up here. I never miss one. I'm not interested in the rising sun. Of course not. You have another agenda. Today was supposed to be a celebration. But it has turned into a day of reckoning. No argument from me. You think I'm a monster, don't you? That I enjoy this carnage and misery? Nothing could be further from the truth. I agonized over what had to be done this time. The destruction of my beloved city. I take zero pleasure in it. But I am curious. Through the eyes of a legendary lone wolf, why do you think I would even consider such a course of action? You're afraid. Afraid of the alternatives. Yes. I was just like everyone else, tourist. I believed the reserve was salvation. But fate had other plans. When you uncovered that empty hole in the ground, I had to pivot. I spent weeks crunching the numbers. Only one thing became clear. Without a culling, starvation and disease would overtake us all in a matter of months. I had a choice to make. Allow fate to run its chaotic course once again and surrender the entire city to the dead. Or defy fate, take matters into my own hands, and save a precious few by slaughtering the many. I chose defiance. What you chose was mass murder. I chose the future. The tower as an ark for those with the metal to rebuild a new world. Turning my back on so many people I loved in favor of pure survival. Can you even comprehend how difficult that is? But none of it matters now, does it? The bells ring, the plan is set in motion. But my victory is hollow. Treachery is everywhere. And I am alone. Where did I go wrong? Tell me. with me. Big mistake. Nothing personal, Taurus. For what it's worth, I always had a feeling we would have a chat like this. You and I are very much alike. It's like we're twins. We're survivors, tourist. Whatever the cost. And for me, that cost has gotten unbearably high. The roots of treachery had dug their way deep into my story, choking the life out of me from within. The bodies around the table inside, they were not the first to betray me. One of them poisoned this drink, their mind corrupted by some movement within my lower ranks. The assassin would not reveal themselves, of course, so my hand was forced. Garrick and May? I considered them family, but their ambition outweighed their loyalty. I learned they were plotting to murder me in my sleep, tourist. Simply because we didn't see eye to eye on how to manage the tower population. Like a fool, I spared them. Thought they would come to their senses outside the tower walls, on the run and alone. I was wrong. And then there was JB. My right hand. There were warning signs early on that the pressure was getting to him. That he was on the verge of snapping. But I dismissed them. I 
loved him like my own son, protected him when others called for his head. And how does he repay my loyalty? He tried to burn me alive and started a war over ideology. Every decision I have made has been in the service of other people, tourist. With the target on my back the entire time. Head on the block waiting for the plane to drop. No more. Let fear rot your brain. Great leaders inspire loyalty in their people, and they keep it. But I could not. Look out over our glorious city, tourist. Tell me, what do you see? I see death. After death, there is new life, tourist. If you give it the means to flourish, this is the key to the city's future. It unlocks a control panel behind you. There is a button that will turn off the lights, and without the lights, the bells will fall silent. But heed my words, tourist. Letting the bells ring is an act of mercy. The slate will be wiped clean, and only those with the fortitude necessary to preserve humanity will remain and rebuild. They will thrive. But if you silence the bells, you will only prolong the suffering for all. The fate of this city will be sealed. The dead will prevail. I've made my choice. And have paid the price for it. Now, it is time for you to make yours. Give me a key. A demon in disguise. Why am I not surprised? Welcome to Hell, tourist. Tourist, looks like you chose to raise the city up on your shoulders instead of raising it to the ground. I guess you could say I'm a bit surprised. Didn't take you for an optimist. But Nola ain't out of the woods just yet. Mama may be gone, but the darkness she embraced didn't start or end with her. It's still out there, Tourist deep in the souls of the living, biding its time. Now, of course, there's light out there, too. That spark of humanity. And with a dash of hope, that spark will grow into a rage in the fire. 
and spread to every corner of this new world. All thanks to you, tourist. <laughs>